Hey guys, this is uh, Yellow Snow Productions. Um, this is a video on how to install and change the zip code uh, for your for your city uh, for the in-depth weather widget. Um, it's a video I posted about uh, in-depth weather widget. This is to show you how to install it and change the city um, so that you can get your weather on it. Um, it's going to be really similar to the other other weather widget as far as SSHing into your phone and, and putting it uh, in your themes folder and stuff like that. So just real quick, I'm going to show you. You're going to need to have a weather board installed. Um, I'm sorry, not weather board, winter board. Uh, obviously you guys can see I don't have it installed, um, the weather widget itself. Uh, so. Um, once I install it, I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to show you guys it's going to pop up here. So, Alright, um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get the actual file, which I have right up here on my desktop. Um, uh, you can either find it on the internet or you can email me at yellowsnowproductions uh, at hotmail.com and I can send you the link via email um, it is under 10 megabytes it's like 7 so it, it'll go through um, most email accounts um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys real quick I'm not going to show you how to SSH into your phone I'm just going to show you where to go when you put this in uh, if you need to know how to SSH into your phone you might want to uh, find another uh, person on YouTube that has sh a, uh, a video on how to SSH into it they're, they're out there. There's a couple good people on, on YouTube that's put SSH videos on there. Okay, so what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to go ahead and go back. Into your into your phone. This is SSH in SSH into your into my phone. I'm gonna go into my VAR folder. That's V A R. Um, I'll have a description on the website to go into your stash folder and go into your theme folder okay and now that I've gotten into that I'm gonna slide that over and back out here a little bit okay just clicked on my my uh, widget folder this is the widget itself um, just clicked on it, opened it up, and this is another little folder inside of it. I'm going to take that entire folder. That's it. That's the theme. And I'm going to put it right in here. So you guys can see, I'm dropping it in here. Just transferring. Once this transfers, I'm going to go into the folder itself and I'm going to change this, the zip code. Um, I had a guy email me on how to change it in, uh, to his, his city. I guess he was having a hard time. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to change it to his city so that uh, hopefully he can watch this video and it, and it uh, helps him out. Hopefully it helps you guys out too. Um, so you're going to go into that folder. This is it right here. This is the the theme itself. Okay, let me go up a little bit. Okay, go into that. Go into that folder right there. You have your lock screen background. Go into that folder, and then you got settings. You want to double click on settings. You don't want to right click and edit or anything like that. You just want to double click on it and it's going to pop up a window. Okay. All right. Um, there is a, it tells you up here in the descriptions, there's sort of like little walkthroughs. It says you can go to weather.com, whatever, um, for your, your, your zip code. This is the stock version. So it comes with, um, let me zoom out there, U.S you want to put your weather right in here your zip code um, that's USW apparently it's United States Washington 
and that's the postal code. Um, you can put any postal code in there, um, like you know any five-digit postal co code. Postal code. Um, well, I'm having a hard time saying that. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over to my email real quick and find out what this guy's uh, zip code was. Okay, got it right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Dan's uh, zip code right in there. And that's what you're going to want to do. You don't want to put Dan's in there. You want to put yours in there, obviously. Obviously, Dan lives in California. Um, also, you can change anything else in there. Um, if you want your refresh rate on the uh, on how fast you want the thing to update your weather, um, you can change it 20 minutes. You can put it 10 minutes. You can put it every 5 minutes. So it's constantly refreshing for new weather updates and whatnot. Um, you can change it. The Celsius, Fahrenheit, all you got to do is change it right in here. I've got it on Fahrenheit. Um, I've got it on 12 o'clock 12 o'clock hour, hour increments. So you guys can change all that right in there, and that's where you want to put your city. Um, that's the main thing everyone's going to want to know is where do I put my zip code? You want to put it right in here, right underneath that, in between the, the two weather location um, things, um, and that'll be it. All right, so once you get done doing that, it, you want to want to back out. Um, it's going to ask you this file was modified. Do you want to save? Yes, you want to save it. Okay, and it should pop up out. Um, it's going to want a password again just to verify that you changed stuff. Yada yada yada. Go ahead and put your password back in. That's how you, you that's your password to SSH into your phone. Okay, now we're done with that. So I can close out of that. Okay. So now on my phone. Open up, go into my winter board. Okay, now right up top there. Check it. Okay, now this should reboot. Um, my lock screen should show up and it should have the weather widget activated on it. And when I actually get the weather on the weather widget, it's going to be Santa Fe, California, I believe. Okay, now it's loading. Or Santee, sorry. Sorry, Dan, got that wrong. All right, so there you guys go. Um, that's it. Um, hope that helped to show you guys where you need to SSH into your phone and put that file and then how to get in, in into that file and change it to your city's zip. Um, I actually am in the process of working on this. Uh, modifying it a little bit um, I'm changing this right here this this is a this is a just a picture of a radar um, it doesn't change unfortunately I am in the process of trying to figure out how to change that to get like a live radar feed or possibly get it changed to like a tide um, if anybody wants to have tides on their phone tide chart or even a surf report um, and that will also be tied into your local weather so if you're a surfer you can know exactly what the surf's like by not even getting into your phone it'll just be right there on your weather widget so alright guys I'll uh, post updates as far as if I get anything on the website so just check back periodically and I'll uh, talk to you guys later